Look at this beautiful little store. I'm going to try this today. Um, I'm in my car. This section here, I want to be the focal point, and I think I'll move this donut sign maybe over. Um, but so I'm putting that in the in the one of the if you divide it up into sections of focal points. Sorry, my words are not coming well this morning. Um, <laughs> But this will be a good center here. And then to have the sign to move it over, I think, to block the eye from just completely running off the edge there. But I love that the trees are just starting to turn. And then you have this pine here. And then it's also set on a hill. I just. So much I love about this scene. I've had my eye on it for a, for a while, and just today was the day. So I'm gonna start with the shadows. It's kind of as per usual. This is a nice. We're fancy today. This is linen linen panel from, oh, where did I get it? Um, Cheap Joe's. Looking at my drawing, I've realized that's way too small, too short. Gotta bring it up. For the moment, I'm gonna leave the bright, brightest part white. And I'll go in and address that later. Because this is going to change. So I'm going to get this first. This is going to be white here. So I'm going to make this a little darker. So that when I add the white, it will pop. I like how the, I like these areas of sun, how they're hitting just the edges of things, the rooms, the edges. I love something I love about a looser style is that you don't have to be too, especially on building. Now, if it's somebody's face, you have to watch out. Um, but if it's like a building like this with piles of stuff, like no one's gonna know what exactly is there on this pile of stuff. And if you've got it 100% accurate, as long as it looks convincing enough. Like, that's enough. Okay, so there's quite a jump here. <laughs> um, because somebody had stopped. I, sadly, I think this place is closing or in the process of closing. But people have been coming to see if it's open. And somebody came, and then I heard his life story, which is always kind of amusing. Um, but he's a he's an artist. He's a woodworker. He showed me some of his stools that he has that he makes with beautiful chestnut wood. Um, but I, it's funny. I do seem to attract these people who. Well, and I think I'm kind of sitting, I'm a sitting duck, because <laughs> I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Um, so people will just tell me many things. Um, and he, I felt fairly safe there. I was thinking, you know, I was thinking, mm. but he didn't, you know, he stayed away and was 
respectful, so I felt okay. Just a friendly, a friendly local. Um, but I do always kind of think, like, mm, is this person... Mm? Anyway, so while he was talking, I just kept painting, and I put in these shapes here, just working with the autumn colors. I love to have the purple, the soft purples against these golds. Um, they really set each other off nicely. And there's hills here. I have to, at this stage, I have to remind myself to just keep going. Keep trusting the process. It looks not like I want it to look finished. I want it to look finished right now, immediately, from when I start painting. And so I have to remind myself, trust the process. It will come, just keep chipping away at it. Step by step. I realize I made these windows too small and low. So I'm just bringing them up. like almost straight from the tube yellow and the orange is straight from the tube but since that's further back I'll add some some white to recess it I don't like that, not one bit. It's a little better. Let's work on this sign here. I think that's all I'm gonna do for the sign. I don't wanna get really detailed in there. I realized when I put this little lamp post in that these are, these windows are not quite right. Third time's the charm. No more, no more windows. I'm tired of the windows. That is the brightest part of the painting. So I'm gonna use almost pure white. Um, pop in some of those. Or I might just even leave it, the white. Oh, that's a good idea, I'll do that. Sometimes it feels like some sort of Greek myth where the gods are like sitting up there looking down on the mortals and they're like you're having it too easy we're gonna throw some obstacles in your path <laughs> and then they do all sorts of terrible things um, sometimes with the sun coming and going that's what it feels like it's like oh this is getting too easy here are some obstacles for you Misery, here's some misery for you, artist. 
So we must struggle. Whoa. Okay, and then there's the pine tree over here, which is actually taller than the building, but I think that would ruin the composition to have it go up. I think I want some sky there so that there's room at the top. Okay, cut out some of these sky holes. I don't want to go too wild though. I want this to be pretty in the background, not popping out a lot. Oopsies. Just decapitated that tree. Whoops, the daisies. With trees, I don't know why, but I just like to do the little curly twirls with the brush. I just find that very satisfying. I just add a few little sky holes. Not too many. Ooh, ooh. There needs to be one here, maybe? I think so, yes. In reality, it's further over, but I think it needs to be here so that... Because I, I changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to put that little sign in. Um, the little... What does it say? Homemade donuts! Where are my donuts at? Um... I'm not going to put that in, but I think instead, if I just move this over a little bit, it will keep, it will stop the eye. That's something I really like to, if you can pull up a light color from from the bottom through dark, by the time you get it up here, it will have pulled up enough dark color that it just changes color magically. Okay, I'm using a scrubby brush for this because I'm really going to scrub it in. I'm not using a nice pointed brush, I'm using one that has seen some seen some days and then there we have the road so see, some of violet and orange yeah that's kind of what it looks like now I think some of the final little details and such and then I will call it quits. There's these cute little cute little hanging lights.
here I want to be careful not to go like too over overboard with details and little things but I do want to put some of it in this is like a little sign doohickey telephone wires it is time Oh, that didn't work at all. There. Oh no! Oh, the wind! Crap. That's not it. I don't like this empty area, so I think I'm going to bring this tree over, even though in reality I don't think it goes that far, but I need to fill that space, um, and so why not fill it with a tree? Oh my, oh my. Oh, heavens. Okay, I'm not going to touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. Just leave me alone. Let me finish up this neglected corner. So I think I'll leave it there. I'll maybe sit on it at home, see what else it needs, if it needs anything else. Um, but that's what it looks like. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.